Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at the bond order, the bond strength and bond length of the phosphate ion. In a previous lesson, I've used the formal charges to determine which of these structures is the more stable one. Today, we're going to use the bond order to determine the same thing, to determine which one is more stable. But let me quickly remind you about the formula for bond order. The formula is the number of bonds divided by the number of domains. Looking at the first structure, you realize that there are four single bonds. So if you have a total of four bonds, and let's check the number of domains, we have one, two, three, four domains. Therefore, the bond order for this structure is four divided by four, which equals to one. For the second structure, there is a double bond and three single bonds. So therefore, there's a total of five bonds. The number of domains will be one, two, three, four. Therefore, the bond order for this second structure is five divided by four, which equals to 1.25. Based on the bond order, we can predict the bond strength. So the point to note here is that the larger the bond order, the stronger the bond. So therefore, we can conclude that the first structure is weaker compared to the second structure. From the relative bond strength, we can predict the relative bond length. If the bonds are weaker, it therefore means the atoms are further apart, which means that the length is longer. If the bond is stronger, means that there is a greater attraction between the atoms, which means the length is shorter. So therefore, we can conclude that the first structure, the bond length, is longer, and the bond length in the second structure is much shorter. Based on these properties, we can certify that the second structure is more stable. Have a blessed and wonderful day.